college, I never wanted to major in music. I minored in music. And then it was around my junior year is when I discovered this pianist named George Winston. At the same time, I really, really became obsessed with this band, The Doors. And with Ray Manzarek, oh my god, I could listen to him for hours. And then one day I learned that actually George Winston, a pianist, he did an album that commemorated The Doors, and that was like, worlds combining and so it was just the, the best best experience in my musical career one of the best is whenever I discovered that and then from then on I said you know what I want to I want to write my own music I want to I want to do this so from then until my latest album which came out last November everything had just been to the point where this I'm making a living when that moment hit I was like oh man this this is what it is and I've never never been happier There's two words that come to mind right now. There's interpretation and creation. In order to have good creation, you have to have a history of interpretation. So being able, you know, having grown up playing a lot of these blues and rock and roll, and then George Winston, and I've had some classical training before, but especially like I really love romantic and impressionistic music, I've loved all that. All of that interpretation that I've done was able to help me create. And when you have that ability to be able to pull something that you know and put it into something of your own, once you do it, you do it more and more and it gets more fun, it gets more engaging, you feel like you get better at it. So that was just this kind of addictive, you know, snowball effect that happened. When I started with Synesthesia, I really liked the idea of doing something kind of cool and scientific. I, 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 love, I love science, even though I'm not at all good at science. Um, but I, I love it, and I love whenever artists, particularly musicians, do something really cool with like, you know, things that are natural in the earth, right? Like science and, and math and, and just the way things are shaped and the way things sound, things that are natural and perfect. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have something that's like really specific, but at the same time, easy enough to understand and explain. So I was playing music, uh, writing music for this, and I really liked the idea of playing a melody in my right hand and, and then one in the left. So I looked up a lot of like terms and cool things that had to deal with like mirroring and reflection and I came across chirality and I read the label and I went that is the coolest word in the world and I didn't know what it meant so I read it and I went oh okay so it's like when a reflection is non-identical like if you did your hands and you try and superimpose they don't match and I thought I could do that with like a melody so let's say this one so based on the directions of each note dun, 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 dun. I took that pattern and I acted as if there was a mirror right here and what it would be is if I were to reflect it so again So I thought, this is, oh, I, I love the theme, I fell in love with it, and I just, it, it made me uh, really just express myself in a way that I've never done. And two, it was very challenging. You know, with interpretation, you have very challenging pieces. When it comes to creation, if you challenge yourself and stuff some of your own stuff, you really, really grow. I've never grown more musically than challenging myself with my own creation. is just it's just piano you know it's the simplicity alone of it it is something palpable and, and you can hold it and you can feel it and piano has that opportunity it's so big it's so grand it's almost just like this big moving force that even through a, a headphones and through a CD you can still feel like the power of it so that's why I just love the instrument <laughs> 